Hey guys, welcome back to the property. If this is your first time here, this is the 32 acres my wife and I purchased to build our forever home on. Uh, right now we're working on cleaning out this area, getting rid of these big trees uh, so we can build a barn with our first living quarters, really small with our kids. And then eventually when we have time, we're gonna build a bigger house back over in that direction. I know you guys have seen me clear a lot of land. Usually I'm using the back code just to push through the underbrush and take it out. But today I wanna to take some time and I wanna show you how to dig out these trees, stump and all. Honestly, it's really not that much work. It goes pretty quick, maybe 10, 15 minutes per tree, depending on what type of tree it is. So now the first step is obviously getting your alignment, looking at the tree, and identifying where you want it to fall. Now, for me, I don't really care where this one falls as long as it's somewhere in this direction. So from there, you can kind of see, I did the best job I could getting aligned directly with how I want to push against this tree. Typically, when you dig these trees out, you dig it in three areas. First, you dig on one side, then you dig on the other side, and usually, you take your equipment, you turn it 90 degrees, and then you do a back cut along the back here. If you're doing this with a mini excavator, that's probably just fine. However, for me, I try and do it with my backhoe sitting in one spot the whole time. And really the reason why is this thing is so long and is so slow to get moved that it takes up so much time. So I try my best, but usually I'm able to find those roots coming across the back here and I'm able just to kind of pick them up and pick them out and break those roots and give her a good push. So when we start, we want to start close enough that we can get a good reach on the roots because we're going to bring those teeth out and we're going to start about six to 12 inches in front of the tree and we're going to just start breaking those roots back on both sides. Now, when we go to actually push the tree down, we're gonna wanna get back a little bit more so we have more leverage to get that arm up, out, and pushing down. I have gone ahead and used the jacks on the back to take all the weight off. Uh, that way, these back tires aren't taking the weight of this big boom, as well as I've turned the bucket down and I've put pressure on it to take the front wheels off the ground. That way, all of the weight of this work is going to be happening on the frame and not on the tires so i'm gonna set you guys up let you see me get started and we're going to go ahead like i said we're going to start on each side parallel to the direction we want to push this tree and go ahead and start breaking those roots one thing you're going to notice also when i'm digging is i'm going to try my best to not displace too much dirt the goal here is not to dig a hole. If we want to dig a hole, we can do that somewhere else. And we're just trying to break the roots. We're going to start up as close to the tree as possible, maybe six inches out. And if it turns out it's too close, then we'll start backing out wider and wider until our backhoe can get through those roots. This tree, I do believe, is a shortleaf pine, which if you don't know, those have like a tap root. They're very strong trees. Now, I'm not the best at identifying them until we really see the root structure, but I'm pretty sure just looking at the bark here, it's a more flaky bark than like a loblolly, which has bigger bark pieces. You know, these are always a little bit more of a challenge. They want to split because of that big tap root. Like I said, we can do this with a backhoe, a mini excavator, anything like that. Uh, I will say though, you know, backhoe, this thing weighs about 15,000 pounds. It goes pretty fast, 10, 15 minutes a piece. I'm not sure how long it would take with a mini excavator, but given enough time, you absolutely could use a mini X to take this out also.
you can see I've dug up on both sides first this side second this side uh, like I said I'm not trying to dig a hole I'm not trying to get this dirt out of here because ultimately the dirt has to go back I'm just trying to break the roots up I also have dug all across now if I was in the mini excavator I would have probably turned the machine and dug this direction but since I was able to get those roots I think I'm good now I did give it a little push I think you saw it uh, it seems like it's about ready to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back the backhoe up this direction give myself a little bit more room for leverage and then we're gonna go ahead and push this thing and see if we can't get it to fall So I was able to give it a good push and uh, she fell just like I hoped. You can see that tap root was in there, but we were deep enough that we were able to get through all of it. Uh, the tap root is a little bit hard to see, but maybe you can kind of see it there if I scrape some of that off. But um, now I've already knocked a little bit of the dirt off. We'll go ahead and cut this up now in my area. Uh, if you have logs that are eight inches minimum on the small end that's considered millable so we got a lot of good material in this uh, we'll certainly be able to get some millable logs out of this and if you look back we don't have a huge mess to clean up either right because we didn't move all that dirt out everything stayed pretty much in place but guys it's wet out here it's getting dark really quick so we're gonna go ahead and sign this one off but guys i hope you found this useful i hope this helps you guys i hope it gives you the confidence that if you have a tree that needs to come down and you have the room to drop it like this that you can get the equipment rent something and uh push it down and not be intimidated thanks guys we'll see you guys on the next one